There's the second muddy paw print. Yeah, it got most of it. With that kind of mud, it might be best to do two passes, but boy, that, I think it got all of it. Hello everyone, that's just a dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Narwhal Frio X Ultra Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, so up here we do have a touch screen that we can do different things with. We can just tell it to start cleaning, come to home, wash the mop pads. So I press the home button, that tells the robot to exit. So if you need to work on it, it's gonna come out here and park. So here's the front of the robot. It does have the bumper technology. It has a sensor. It has LiDAR for navigation that maps your house really good. Now, once in a while, you are gonna have to take this cover off. This is the dust bin. The base unit does not auto empty this. You are gonna have to take this out and throw that away. These are the ones that you throw away. It does have a reusable one. So you can put this one in here and then you would just simply take this out and empty it out, clean it up and then put it back. Okay, let's tell it to go clean the kitchen right now. So all you're gonna do, I'm gonna do a room and hit clean. So the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna wash the mop pads to get them nice and soaked and ready so it can start cleaning. Here we've got a bunch of crumbs for it to pick up and some muddy paw prints. We're gonna see how well it does. And even on some carpet, we're gonna watch it raise the mop pads when it comes to carpet. Okay, so it's all done washing the mop pads. Now it's gonna start vacuuming and mopping at the same time. Yeah, this is it's not very loud at all. About 64 dB when it's doing this. And it's putting down a lot of water. It is mopping pretty good. All right. So it's doing a good job getting underneath the kitchen cabinets with its side brushes. Now, once it does the perimeter of your room, then it starts to go back and forth to get the, in the middle of the room. Now that's pretty impressive, it picking up all that dirt. And so there's the, the first pass on the muddy paw prints was pretty good. So there's the muddy paw prints. Yeah, it smeared it a little bit. I can't believe how well it vacuums. There's the second muddy paw print. Yeah, it got most of it. With that kind of mud, it might be best to do two passes, but boy, that, I think it got all of it. And it's doing a really good job with these crumbs. Okay, so there it lifted the mop pads. Now it's gonna go on to carpet. You know, it's doing a pretty good job vacuuming. And again, not too loud when it's just vacuuming. Okay, so it says it's, it's all the way done. It's gonna come back to the dock. And we know that because it says cleaning air is... Okay, so you might've heard something that calls air compression. And you're hearing it, it sounds like it's auto emptying, but it's pushing that dirt to the side. Okay, now it's doing mop drying. So there's gonna be a, a blower with hot air kicked on it's not really loud and it's gonna dry that mop for about four hours. Yeah, here's kind of a picture on the box. Allows the robot to compress fluffy dust tightly ensuring minimal noise and a seven week dust storage inside that bag. Okay, so under the report of it cleaning, we, we don't really get like obstacle. It doesn't show us like what the obstacles it encountered, but it does say the cleaning mode, the strong cleaning mode was activated. It washed the mop, optimal route planned. Now what you do get is a picture on the map that shows you what it cleaned and it'll have different shades to let you know if it had, if it noticed, like see if it's more dark, that means there was more for it to clean and less dark means it wasn't as dirty. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.